an absolute. Hey, yo, mi amigo. Hello, Pablo Inglés, American. Yeah, you. Hi. Sorry, I'm just gonna be real quick right now, and I just got back in for a couple of minutes. If that's okay. Uh, a couple of minutes. No, that will not do for me. All right, I am working right now on a very important matter. All right. Well, I I just cleaned the room next door, and it's prepped and ready for you to use if you like. Did I say I want the room next door? Did I say I want a couple of minutes? No, I want this room where I currently am right now. All right, not the room next door. Do you see this view? Way more expansive, really gets the creative juices flowing, you know? Okay, uh, okay, ma'am, I'll, I'll just leave and I'll come back later. Good, Oof, that is more like it. Honestly, watch your attitude, young man, all right? Sorry, ma'am, it, it won't happen again. Ugh, some people. Yeah, yeah, babe, I'm, uh, I'm about to head off. Yeah. Yeah, babe, I'm about to head out of work. Yes? Yeah, at 3 p.m. No, I know, the CEO is never here. I can literally do whatever I want. No one pays attention. <laughs> oh, and don't worry, I went ahead and ordered dinner for the whole week again. No, obviously, on the company credit card. Yeah. Oh, it's... Fine. I've been doing it for months. No one has ever noticed. Yes. Yeah, honestly, this place is run by a bunch of... No one has any idea how the sausage gets made. Yeah, well... Hey, man. I still get my paycheck, so I can't really complain. <laughs> yeah, great. Alright. Alright, yeah, see you soon. Alright, bye-bye. Hi there. Hi, how's it going? Hey, uh, you, you can just leave that there. I'll take care of it. No problem. Oh, no, it's my bowl. I used it anyway. Not a big deal. Are you sure? Because I really don't mind. It's my job. No, it's it's fine. I saw you cleaning the windows and, you know, taking out the trash and mopping the floor. I'm sure you have a lot to do. It's, it's also kind of how my parents raised me, you know, picking up after myself. Well, your parents did a great job raising you. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, they did a pretty decent job. Um, I don't think I've seen you around the office. I know mostly everybody here. Yeah, it's my first day here at the office, and, um, my name is Jose. Hi, Jose, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How do you like it so far? You know, just trying to get the hang of things, figure it all out, but, um, how do you like it here? Oh, I love it here. Yeah, I've been here five years. Wow. Started out as an intern, and then once they gave me that job offer, didn't look back. <laughs> so I've been, you know, slowly climbing that corporate ladder, but, uh, I can't imagine working anywhere else. <laughs> That's good to hear. You know, I wish you the best in your career. Thank you, Jose. Nice to meet you, and I'm sure I'll see you around. You take care now. Me too. Oh, I am so sorry. I did not realize you were still here. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't get distracted, so you can take out the trash. Oh, uh, okay. And I'm just so surprised that you're still here. I mean, it's already 6.45. Yeah. No, I was kind of just getting into a flow, and... I hate losing the momentum, you know? I stay here pretty late. It's it's not like the hardest thing. I really like my job. I completely understand that. <laughs> Excuse me? I, I'm sorry, I hope it's not too much of a bother, but can I ask you a question? Yeah. What keeps you motivated to stay here so late? I mean, what is your secret? I'd love to know it. <laughs> um... These are my two boys, Michael and Andrew. They're twins. They're about two years old. Everything I do is for them. So, yeah, working too late, it's uh, never really that big of a deal. They are truly beautiful kids. Thanks. Now, they get their looks from their mom. I know I'm not the best looking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, she was an angel. She was the best mother. Truly, I, I don't know what she saw in me, but the years that I spent with her were the best years of my life. She's not here anymore, but, you know, I, I know that she's still watching us from above. 
Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, it must be really difficult to raise two kids on your own. Yeah, you know it is, but it's it's also the most rewarding experience of my entire life. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dump everything on you like that. That was, but uh, Jose, thanks for listening. I, I really appreciate it. And speaking of the time, I only have the babysitter till about eight tonight, so I got to get going. But again, thanks, Jose. Hope you have a good night. Thanks, you too. Dude, what is this meeting about? Don't you read the memos? <laughs> Good one. I never read the morning memos. You know I send those things straight to junk mail. Oh, well, maybe if you had read it, you would know that we're meeting the CEO. Oh, I can't wait to see how dumb this guy looks. <laughs> Good morning, David, Becky. Why is the janitor? Hey, janitor, why are you wearing a suit? My name is Jose Rodrigo. I am the owner or founder of Rodrigo Beverage Company. You're kidding, right? He's he's kidding. He looks like the janitor. Well, you're right, Becky. I was the janitor. But every so often, I like to go undercover and see how business is being conducted in my company. It also lets me get an understanding of how my employees feel about working here without the bias of speaking to the CEO. And yesterday, you made quite the terrible impression. Uh, oh, I mean... Oh, I mean, we were having a rough... I was having a rough... Day. I mean, it wasn't indicative of how I always am. I mean, sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. No harm, no foul, right? Not only were you condescending, but you treated me with contempt. And I also overheard you saying how you leave work early, ditch out on work, and inappropriately spend money on the company's card. For, and that's been for a couple months now. Now that is indeed harm and foul. Look, it is not as bad as you're making it all out to be. I mean, second chance, right? You're fired, Becky. Pack your things and go. We didn't want to work at this stupid company anyway, right? Don't implicate me. I have nothing to do. This is all you. Ugh. Now, David, I was very impressed with you yesterday. Thank you, sir. Not only is your tribute with dignity and respect, like a real human being, but I was also very moved by your dedication to your job, to your career, and most importantly, to your beautiful family. In just one day, you showed me how much you care for this company. And I couldn't help but wonder, what could you do in a higher position? What do you mean by that, sir? What I mean is I want to offer you the promotion as executive manager of this branch. Now, it'll come with more responsibility and duties, but I'm sure you're up to the task, right? Wow, uh, that would be incredible. I don't even know what to say. Why don't you say yes? Yes. When do I start? How about now? 